and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and today's Journal With Me video. As always, I'm working in my B6 Stalogy, which is chunking up and I keep it in this Apple Pig Leather Traveller's Notebook. Okay, so one of the things that I've done is I've taken it out because it's getting quite chunky and I'm finding that when I'm working in it, I've got quite a hump here appearing because of all this chunk. So all I, sh all, all I shall do is take a few of the front pages, flip them to the back, and now I've got a flat surface again to work on. So I, I find that very useful. The cover's very sturdy, so you can do that with no problem. Looks like I got a bit of paint from the last journal spread I did. Just gonna clip my pages. Okay, and I'm ready to get started. Now, I've been having an emotionally difficult week this week, so I wanted to keep myself as busy as possible. So one of the things that I did was a colour pencil art project, which I really enjoyed, and I had to focus on it, so it really did keep me sort of busy and distracted from the things that are making me sad at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is a journaling spread where I take a photograph of this piece that I did and journal about it in my Stalogy notebook. I have taken some video footage of me drawing this piece. If anybody's interested, it's very long, so I imagine you'd have to be really interested in drawing to want to watch it, but I will pop it up on my channel. So that's what I plan to journal about in my journal today. As always, I want to start by watercoloring around my pages. So I've mixed up some brown. I want to do a nice vintagey one today. And there we go. Nice bit of brown watercolour. I'll take that clip off now, won't I? So I've watercoloured around my pages and my pages are now dry so I can pop my clips back on. I need to remember to put something over that purple splodge of paint, don't I? Okay, so the, what the focal point of this is going to be my photograph. I took this photograph. It does seem to have come out with my Polaroid zip a bit on the orange side, but it's fine. It reminds me of what I did. So that's the main thing. And I've got, in this little envelope, I've got some die cuts I cut out of like picture frames so I thought one of these might be nice to put around this picture I don't know if they're going to fit let's see let's see oh, I think they will just about I'll just have to trim a bit off the photo so if I just do that quickly trim a piece so I can find my scissors I have my scissors so I just need to trim my photo just a tiny bit on each side See if that's enough. Oh, I've got green on the back. No, I think I prefer this one. Okay, that kind of fits. Yeah, good. Um, and underneath, I'm going to put a piece of, I've got this Jane Davenport folder that I keep my bits and pieces in. And I think I'll take a piece of vellum. So this is just Tim Holtz vellum. I'm a big fan of Tim Holtz, if you haven't noticed by now. And I think I will take my ink dabber and I've got my gathered twigs, distress ink. I have lots of colours because they were gifted to me. Um, and this is one of my favourites, gathered twigs. It's like a really nice dark brown. Let's see if it will just make this look a little bit more finished. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to stick that. I need to leave space for my date. I might just do a small date today. <laughs> so let's stick my vellum down. Okay. I think that angle. I think I look quite like that. So I've stuck down my vellum. And next, I need my photograph. There we go. 
and then I need to stick on my photograph frame which I think I am going to distress this a little bit as well although it's very tiny so I'm going to get ink all over myself never mind might just make it look a little bit more vintagey there we go and now I'm going to stick that on just got glue all over my table I am not a tidy journaler at all there we go I think it's just slightly too big but I think it's fine it's fine I quite like how that looks and then as well as doing lots of art I've done lots of drinking coffee this week so I'm going to look for a coffee sticker to pop next to her to remind me that I survived this week by drawing and drinking coffee uh, I like that one what do we think? Does that go though? Maybe not. Maybe that would be nicer. Cafetiere. Not sure I want the pink. I'm not in a pink place. So I'm going to pop that cafetiere there. Okay, what shall I do next? want to put something down in this corner because I always like to do opposing corners although I really ought to try changing up my style so I've got this bag of, of, of loads of bits from London Gifties so let's pull out a load of stuff and see what we like oops dropping it on the floor I want to do that I will find that one later oh I've got a nice little piece of um a paper it's already stuck. It's already been used for something. That's nice, isn't it? I, shall I just rip it? Yeah, let's just rip a piece of that. Popping that upside down now. Oh, I think there was a stamp in there. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, I'll pop it that way. I quite like that. So let's get my dabber tool again. Just, I know it already is vintage but I'm just adding a little bit where I've torn it so that, that it stays looking vintage really like that I need to get some more of this sort of old paper type in fact I think I've ordered some I have ordered some from the Etsy shop of one of my subscribers who's really really lovely and I will show you what I bought from her when it arrives so I've got my little piece of paper and now I think I want a ticket that one looks nice doesn't it shall I shall I dabba dabba this as well why not dabba dabba everything dibba dabba dabba there we go if you don't have any distressing just find one brown one if you like vintage is a really good is a really good thing to have because you can make anything look vintage with some of this brown distress ink but it's not waterproof you have to remember that it's not waterproof which is why my pages have got a bit smudged from my glue and from the um, ink right I need one more thing then now do I want a stamp or do I want a Ooh, I quite like that one I'll look through all of these stamps and end up using the one that I've already got about you. Oh, I don't know. I still like that one. I'm going with that one. Oh dear. So let's pop that stamp there. Now I need something up in this corner because I got purple paint there, didn't I? So shall we go? As we're stay, staying vintage, shall we go see what else we've got in here? It might be nice. Okay, I found this emergency ticket. Looks like a bus ticket and it must be really old because look at the prices on it. Like 1p, 2p, 4p. <laughs> Nobody 
wouldn't be able to go on a bus for one penny these days, would they? Do I want the one with the red? Or the one with the... I think I'm going to go with that one and I'm just going to dabber dobber it again. What do you call doing this? It's, um, distressing the edges? I don't know. Just like how it looks because it gives it that sort of old feel. Let me glue that one on. Oh, there were two there. Oh, the one I've put glue on, there were two stuck together, I didn't realise. And the one I've put glue on isn't the one that I've inked. <laughs> so I'm going to have to ink this. And now I'm getting glue and ink on my fingers. I might have to go and wash my hands. And as most of the glue is now on my fingers, I'll just put a little bit more on. Like so. There we go. And that one can go over that dob of purple paint. Go on, over there. That's it. An emergency ticket. Okay. Now, would I like anything else on this page? I do have some die cuts that I got out which are now all covered in all my other bits so I found this one which is like a little ticket I might add that so if I just distress that with my ink dabber and let's do it on the other side as well okay so I have that and in here in my sticker folder at the back I do have some Tim Holtz word stickers so I'm going to pick a word that I want to put on my label and I think a white one because of the white sticker so what would I like to put on here let's have a look and see what there is oh I think memories that seems, because I've been thinking about memories a lot this week. Oh no, look what I've done. <laughs> oh dear. See, I've got ink on my fingers and I didn't wash my hands, which I did realise that I ought to. But it's too late. It's too late. Let's just ink that a little bit. So that says memories. And I've been thinking about, trying hard to think about happy memories this week. We've got a really significant family funeral on Friday so I've really needed to try and distract myself and my YouTube channel is proving a wonderful distraction because it gives me loads to do and I feel like I'm talking to somebody rather than sitting by myself so I'm really enjoying it and finding it really helpful so I've got some I don't know what you call this it's Avril maybe twine or string or something you can get this from cute things from Japan which is a shop that sells Japanese products really nice little shop which I'll link below <laughs> I want to get this through that little tiny weeny hole can I do it can I <laughs> it's not, not going to be able to get it through am I uh. I did it. I did it. I'm always sort of feel like I'm all fingers and thumbs. I just thought this would look pretty. When I'm wrapping up little gifts for people, I love using these kind of pretty twine. I've only got two. I'd like to get some more. But I need to find out whether or not cute things from Japan are shipping to the UK now. But we have our new VAT rules. <coughs> Okay, so where shall I put that? Do you know what? I should have stuck that sticker the other way. Come off. No problem. Give it a bit of glue. And stick it on the other way. With my inky fingers. Do you want it there or there? I think it looks nice there. So I'm just going to stick that little tag on. So I was happily drawing my colour pencil drawing, thinking about happy memories 
in an effort to get through a difficult time. Now I also got out these um, die cuts. So that one I've cut out of, because I have some already, <laughs> I have a little box that I've made and they're sort of ready to use. So if anybody's interested, I'll show you how I do that in another video. Um, but I've already chosen a patterned paper and I've already inked it. So is it too big though? Could have gone there. I think it's too big. But I do have a smaller one. What do you think? Would that look nice? Put a little one like that? Yeah, I think so. What I'll do is distress it a bit. Just give it a bit of um, ink. And sort of squish it a bit. <laughs> it's just made out of like ordinary cardboard so I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more um, I don't want it dimensional because it's in here but I just want to make it look a bit old that's better <laughs> but you will think I'm mad okay so I'm going to put that up in that corner not right over I want to see where it says emergency ticket <laughs> And then I've got a little tiny one which I've just punched out of a flower punch. As I said, if anybody's interested in seeing how I make ephemera, then perhaps I could do a video and then I could give away what I make. That would be fun. If anybody would like to do for, for me to do that, I can do that. Okay, so I think that's enough decoration for my page and I shall use the rest of the space for journaling about my art project. My desk is a right mess now. <laughs> okay. I do find it quite difficult writing when I'm on camera. I don't even know if I need to, but I've just journaled on that side because on this side I want to journal about some things which are more private. Um, and it's just occurred to me, there is no washi tape on here, which is just awful. <laughs> so I'm going to look for some washi tape. Okay, I have these beautiful little washi tape holders which I bought from a shop on Etsy which is now closed which makes me so sad so I'm just going to have a look and see whether or not any of these colours would look nice on my page I think that one would so let's just finish off with a little bit of washi tape and of course once this washi tape is all gone I will be able to continue to use these little washi tape holders which are so cute So I'm just going to put a little bit of washi down here. There, you can't have a journaling page without any washi on it, can you? And I haven't remembered to get my number stamps out, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit my number there. So I will probably use this instead, which is a date stamp. So if I can remember the date, it's May. I know it's May. So that's going the wrong does anybody else find it really hard to read these because they're backwards and upside down aren't they so it's January, February what's that one I don't know there's me <laughs> and it's 2021 I haven't used this for a while and the day is the is the date? Is it the 13th? Is 
this is why I don't use this very often because it's so irritating let's just check that I have the right date here oh I do 13th of May 2021 which way does it go so let's pop my date on I'm not actually 100% sure it is the 13th of May but it's something like that it might be the 12th I don't know Okay, so that's my journaling page finished. Really like how it looks because I really like these kind of pages where I do it really vintagey and use lots of sort of vintage ephemera. I hope you found it inspiring in some way. Thank you so much for joining me and watching. Bye.